Welcome to the MSI channel where I try to resurrect an old MSI 8080 computer. Okay, ready for the big big league. Um, I went back into the uh, rafters and uh, found the uh, floppy disk drives. Um, these are pretty fancy ones. These are half height uh, drives, 8 inch, uh, double density. Uh, so I think each one is a megabyte, if I remember right. Um, anyway, we'll find out. Uh, so we have uh, three drives. Uh, we have the A drive, uh, I think this is the B drive and the C drive. Um, and they take 8 inch floppies. Um, so this is the floppy guy I used to always use as the working copy. Always kept uh, clean versions in case anything got deleted. Uh, one of the th real big problems with these drives is if you power these up with the heads down you're going to write bits and you're going to destroy it, destroy the disk. So there's a there's a really clean sequence that you have to do in order to get this thing working. Um, everything has to be powered on and uh, you have to be ready to go before you put in the floppy. Do not put in the floppy before you turn on the power. Um, and so uh, it should be out, the door should be open uh, uh, only when you have this powered up and, and this powered up, which they both are, uh, can you insert the floppy. Uh, so it goes in and stops. And squeeze the door closed. And uh, like I said, the boot ROM is at F000, so we're going to go there, examine, and run. There we go. Amazing, it still works. Totally amazing. Um... So, it did boot over, I have the uh, terminal hooked up, and uh, I'll go over to a screen capture window, and uh, we can take a look at uh, CPM. But, um, we have it working. So, before we uh, take a look, I thought I'd show you the card. Uh, this is our serial card, this is our disk card. Uh, so, the serial uh, connector is in. And now we have this 50-pin ribbon cable that connects to the uh, um, disk controller card, and that goes into the... Uh, into the uh, disk drive box. And let me uh, go push some switches and uh, boot the system. Uh, F00, examine. Let's see, oh wait a minute. Uh, F00, examine. And run. Here it is. And we're done. So it boots very fast. Uh, Boots very fast. Let me, uh, there we go. Excellent. <laughs> now uh, me and you are about on the same page. I'm trying to remember what these things are. Uh, memory read, CPM power, list, time. I wonder what time is. Time. Oh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> uh, oh, M basic. It's clicking. There we go. Uh, basic Rev 5.1 CPM version. Copyright Microsoft. Very nice. Um, ooh, 1980. That's pretty recent. Um, looks good. Let's uh, write a program. List, run, excellent. Uh, how do I stop it? Control C, there we go. Exit, oops. Exit, no, bye, no, uh, done, no. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to quit basic. Uh, see, exit, let's see, end, no. Uh, I have no idea. Interesting. I guess we'll have to read up on this. Uh, help. There's no help. Question mark. No. Uh, slash question mark. No. Slash help. No. <laughs> I don't think it had help in those days. <laughs> oh well. Uh, let me do a little uh, research and uh, get back with you. 
All right. So I figured it out. Watch this. Uh, is that on? Okay. Let's try this again. All right. Directory. M basic. Takes a little time to load basic. That's nothing there. The magic word is system. Oh, crunch, crunch, crunch. All right, we're back. Yay. <laughs> Uh, let's see, there's a assembler, load, time, sh, ports, ports, doc. Ooh, a list, ports, dot, doc. Nice. Uh, I wrote myself a, uh, a note. Uh, what did I write? MSI computer system, port address map. Great. FF is the front panel. We know about that. FE is the interrupt control port. EE fake port used in CC BIOS for sector D, but wow. 40 memory bank select, we talked about that. Uh, the uh, 2422 disk controller card has a bunch of addresses, 3031, 32, 33, 34, and four, interesting. The um, uh, SIO board, which is really the MIO board, I think. Remember, we were using 22. So 22 was the data port. Um, 23, 24 modem. Okay. Uh, Centronics port, GP100. So I believe I have a card. I have a bunch of cards still in the attic. You'll be impressed how many cards I've got. Um, I have another card in the attic that is based off of that um, proto board that I use for the LED buffer. It's the GP100. And uh, I wired my own Centronics interface. Um, and so I put the address at 10, 11, 12, 13. And there must be a clock board somewhere. I don't remember the, a clock board. Uh, 9, 10, A and B. Maybe that's why time didn't work. And then speech synthesizer. I need to find my speech synthesizer. I actually had this MSI singing, Daisy. Uh, Daisy, Daisy. And I had it singing, um, I mean, playing um, all of the sounds in war games. Would you like to play a game of chess and things like that? So I'm really hoping I didn't throw that away or, or uh, repurpose it for something else. So I'll try to find my speech synthesizer and the software that goes with it. That's it. So great. Uh, what else did I write to myself? Uh, let's see here. Susan Basic. Susan's my wife. Um, let's see. Doc. CPM power dot docs. S A. Let's see. Uh, what other docs do we have? Ports. We did that one. And move CPM doc. Let's try that one. Move CPM dot uh, let's see. Help file to remember how to set up CPM. Standard CPM does not support disks other than the standard CCS. Okay, so maybe we'll have to try this. I'll show you how to create a disk. Um, you have to have the right sectors and uh, you have to go through all of this stuff just to create a new working copy. Um, wow. It's a good thing I wrote that down. I guess I knew I would be here 30 years later. Uh, what else do we have? Um, message.asm and move CPM. Message.asm, let's look at that. Ooh, July of 83. Cool. Change the message. Just change the D. Print the message. Uh, to type messages. I have no idea what this is. Uh, huh. I, I don't know. <laughs> 
I must have just been playing around. Uh, M map. All right. We do have assembler on here, so we could assemble that. Uh, I don't think we want to though. Help dot text. Ooh, there we go. Help dot text. Oop. Uh, that one might be corrupted. <laughs> uh, doesn't look good. Okay, well, let's uh, let me uh, play around a bit and uh, see what we can do with this thing. 